Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about a subject that was brought brought about to my attention from a gen another gentleman. Um, he had a question in reference to it was a it was a meme, but it said something to the effect of the way other people treat you is more reflection of who they are on the inside than it is you. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about today. If you haven't done it yet, please hit that like and subscribe button down below and uh, that bell notification icon. And please leave a comment, even if it's just to say hi. It really helps with uh, the way that YouTube works with the search engines. So, when we're talking about how other people treat us, okay, what's going on is that they themselves have things going on inside them. You know, they're probably living inside of their own heads. They haven't done a high level of ego work like some spiritual practitioners. And this, uh, this way that they treat you is the reflection of that. I guess the, the main thing is like, okay, so if somebody treats us badly, you know, how do we, how do we deal with that? And one of the things, one of the tools that I learned uh, for how to deal with how other people treat us is to be able to see them in an empathetic way. But that can be hard, okay? So we have to use these little mental tools sometimes to help us get there. One of the tricks I like to do is I like to imagine who that person was when they were three years old. If you think about it, the consciousness, their spirit that is inside of them is the same one they had since before they were born, right? If you think about three-year-old children, they don't have the, the life experiences that have shaped them into who they are as an adult later on, right? So they're more pure, right? And uh, when you look at these people, you realize that their lives, uh, whatever's happened to them in their lives, has formed them into who they are now. So they've gone through a lot of pain and suffering themselves, and they've, they've experienced things, positive and negative, that just created them, as far as their ego, their personality, right? And every value that they have, what they consider right and wrong, what uh, they value, how they believe, everything is all based off of those life experiences. And, um, you know, we just have to look at people like that, you know. Ram Dass was talking about looking at people like trees, you know, see them as just these individual trees and, you know, don't make it personal. Um, but when I see somebody that it, you know treats other people poorly then I know that they're not aware of what's going on inside themselves and that that's it you know people don't know what they don't know right so can you really hold them responsible for what they don't know I mean sure we can say that well we need to train people on how to be more compassionate and empathetic but that's not how this works in this life right we can't chase people with what we know about spiritual practices and get them to see the things the way that we see them and if it's not their time in this lifetime then it's not their time you know and that's that's okay um on the other side if people talk to you badly that is a perfect time to see where you're at if you take offense to it then you've got more ego work to work on i mean Ego work is definitely one of those things that's going to go on for the rest of your life. Your mind is always going to be there. It's always going to talk and it's always going to have what it thinks is valuable or, or right or wrong. So when I see other people talking like this, uh, you know, badly towards me or other people, I just, I know that they don't know what they don't know and that they, are, they were shaped by their experiences. And they have no control over their mind the way that some spiritual practitioners do. So, well, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Uh, please leave a comment. Um, ask me a question. I'll uh, happily 
try and get to it and turn it into a video. I'd like to get the questions and answers portions of this channel going uh, so we can get some good interaction. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys later and look forward to it.